Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, now I really want to show you this battle, not because there's anything special that I did, uh, it's more because of what the enemy was doing. Uh, it was a pretty interesting battle, uh, so let's take a look. Uh, let's take a look at the enemy here. My Katana Core is pretty standard with some slight changes, but let's look at the uh, enemy first. Uh, he's got a heavy gunner here, and uh, I thought there were more matchlocks. Maybe they'll come out of hiding, but then they have a bunch of cavalry, most notably a mounted samurai hero, who will inspire uh, the rest of these cavalry, mounted gunner there, fire cavalry, uh, yari cavalry, stuff like that, and also an, uh, an onabushi hero, uh, kind of interesting. So my katanagor here is pretty much unchanged, uh, but I have six light cavalry and a uh, katana hero, along with four katana samurai, two yari samurai. Uh, so that's my katana hero, or and a two bow samurai, of course. So uh, Trying out my new katana core because I hear that the heroes actually inspire units of the same type. So giving that morale boost to my katana samurai is pretty significant with a katana hero. So anyway, I'm rushing forward to get the sword dojo. I have a light cavalry off crabbing over here, but just trying to get the shrine. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to actually crab and do any damage with him. Uh, so here we go. Uh, the enemy is going to rush forward and take the uh, workshop here. Uh, he's got his heavy gunner here, uh, moving up with his cavalry, summon wedge formation. You know how that is. So I'm just going to kind of camp out here. wasn't expecting him to rush me so quickly, uh, which I guess is kind of a bad assumption to make when the enemy army has all cavalry. Uh, so I was moving my bows up, and then I was like, oh, wait, he's rushing me. So I had to pull back at the last second. But it ended up not being so bad, because I got my spears into a good position. Uh, the, the bows were going to be useless in this battle anyway against an army of all cavalry. So uh, I, I didn't really care about losing them early. They were a good distraction, though. And they tie down one of these uh, first cavalry to go, and the other one goes right into my katanas. Luckily, using the wedge formation, didn't do too much damage. Uh, let's take a look at numbers. He did kill about 30 men in total, but right into a Yari Samurai as well, so he'll get cut down. So now I'm just trying to maneuver my infantry to just get in a good defensive position and just grind this battle out in melee. Uh, because he also has a heavy gunner back here uh, that will hopefully be working in my favor for once. So I'm letting that uh, bow samurai over here just kind of get attack. That's why I like bow samurai. They can stand and fight. That's why I like having a my katana core, because they can be distractions. Uh, so look, we already have wavering over here uh, from this unit. It's pretty interesting. I'm not sure why. He's at 56 men. Uh, I don't see anybody, like, shooting into him. It might be the bows, because... Uh, oh, no, it's the mounted gunners. My bad. Uh, now, this is interesting. Uh, this strategy, I don't, I don't understand. He takes his matchlock units and puts them behind his own men. I'm not sure what the goal of this strategy was. Maybe it was to kill his own men, but uh, it's just bizarre. I'm not sure why anybody would put matchlocks behind their own men. I don't get it. So he's just going to be shooting into his own men. They're already wavering down to the red morale, even with this mounted samurai here, hero over here to get him. So a weird strategy there. I'm not sure what was going on, uh, to be honest. Um, I can't quite explain it. Uh, so anyway, my bow samurai here fighting in melee, doing a pretty good job. There's still 56 men, and uh, there's just a big mass going on here. Meanwhile, my light cavalry have come around the side, and we're just going to go and charge in and try and get some hammer and anvil. Uh, but some of them are going to go straight for his general, try and put him under pressure, uh, get him try and move. Now, I notice he's moving a mounted gunner around. Finally, he's moving him around away from his own men. I'm not sure what he was doing there, but uh, whatever. So light cavalry is going to run in and try and hit his general. Uh, we're just going to put him under pressure. We are winning the melee fight quite well. Uh, our numbers are still going strong. Uh, let's take a look. This Wildcat Katana is at 101. Uh, the bows are still at half strength. This Platypus Katana is at 116. They're badasses. Uh, the Yari Samurai is just tanking like a boss over here uh, with these uh, cavalry. And they're, look, they're all in the red morale here, as you can see. So uh, the cavalry spam doesn't seem to be as good as it might have been at one point. Uh, so... They're just going to get torn down in melee, which is a good thing. Uh, so I move a katana back here because my Yaris are too busy grinding it out in the front of the line. So I'm just going to have my katana here uh, back, but I didn't realize it was a mounted gunner, so he probably won't be charging me. Uh, but he's back there just to be safe. Don't want to lose my general at this point. Uh, my light cavalry have broken through and are going right for the general, who is at 20 men. Uh, we have wavering all over on this side uh, because the light cavalry are now behind them. Seems like they mess with the morale mechanics a little bit. And it seems to be, do pretty well with the flanking. Uh, it just seems a little more sensitive to people being behind you now uh, after this last patch. So anyway, uh, he's shooting and hitting his own men. Yeah, not. I don't know what's going on there. It's kind of a weird strategy. Uh, but anyway, broken, broken. The enemy cavalry is just getting decimated. Uh, his heavy gunners are finally moving up after taking the workshop. Uh, probably needed to get him up closer, but there were no real good firing angles for him. He just had blocks of his own men 
uh, sitting in front. So I'm not sure what's going on there. We've captured the shrine a long time ago as well. Uh, my light cavalry ended, actually ended up cleaning up this side of the cavalry. I was quite happy with them. Usually they just kind of suck in melee, but they did pretty well in that battle. Uh, now all that's left is basically uh, just a, a couple cavalry units. He's just kind of running away. The heavy gunners have finally gotten into position, but it's going to be too late to make a difference. But he's shooting, uh, again, into his own men, and there they go. They're just going to shatter. I don't get that strategy. Don't see what he was doing there. Uh, I don't know. It seems kind of like common sense to me, you know, putting matchlocks and clear lines aside, but I don't know. Uh, that's just the way it is. Hey, I'll take the win. So uh, strategy here, rushing with the, uh, with the cavalry, try and shoot uh, from behind them. Don't quite get the strategy, but... Uh, Whatever, worked out for me, so a uh, pretty easy battle there. Um, Cav spam might have at one point kind of been a little overpowered, but it seems to be pretty well now. Um, I've never actually lost to Cav spam, though, except once in a 2v2 where they both ganged up on me, and we were just we were really badly coordinated in that battle, but uh, uh, not so bad there. My general runs and chase off the mounted gunners, so a uh, pretty easy battle there. Uh, but it, was, it was kind of fun. Um, I've heard horror stories about the Cav spam, and I haven't actually seen it too often, but uh, no real problem there. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching.